Marketing Top Ideas by Apple Lamb on Tuesday, April 16th of 2013. We like to shine, said Ada Tam Singh Wen, a Year 12 International Baccalaureate student at Renaissance College. Tam's team, Dominicans, wearing bright green ties, enthusiastically presented their proposal to arrange play dates between underprivileged children and the company's employees. When it comes to marketing, these students mean serious business. Last month, 84 Year 12 students gathered at Shatin College's Senior Skills Center for the 7th Annual English Schools Foundation Marketing Competition. Two teams of six were selected from each of the seven ESF schools taking parts. Some, such as Shatin College and Renaissance College, selected groups through internal competitions. Five business and technology education council students from Shatin College held organized events, from liaising with IT support staff and food caterers to booking the venue. It is part of their BTEC curriculum, a two-year applied learning program in Year 12 and Year, 15, uh, year 13. Insurance company Zurich sponsored this year's contest which was centered on corporate social responsibility. In an opening speech, Surich Senior Head of Marketing Management Ricky Chen Poon Man debunked a popular myth that being socially responsible toward the local community hurts profits. Responsible investment is about creating long-term value, both financial and non-financial, for all stakeholders of Surich without sacrificing financial returns, he said. And competition generates returns for Surich in the form of creative ideas provided by the students. Cham said the insurer may use them when planning its corporate social responsibility campaigns in the future. In the first of three tasks, the programs were evaluated by students in 500 words. Next, students were asked to design an ongoing community service program for Surich employees based on a survey completed before the competition. Finally, students were asked to propose promotional strategies that would encourage company staff to take part in their programs. The students were given 30 minutes to complete each task, and for the second and third tasks, two minutes to present their proposals. These time limits pushed the students to think on their feet. I think that the decision-making process is quite fast, and they are not used to that said Barbara Cooper, head of business at West Island School. They are seeing other people's presentations and what you see them do is they try to quickly adapt, which is what you do when there's competition adapts to the markets. Aside from time management, students were also judged according to their understanding application of marketing concepts, their teamwork, preparedness and presentation skills. According to Shatin College Business Studies teacher Fiona Chamley, the main organizer of the marketing competition, who coordinated with the five BTEC student organizers. Like the participants, BTEC students were forced to respond quickly to losing the main whore, the original value. It was a the book booked, said Jimmy Raymond, a BTEC student organizer. We had to drop everything and change the venue at the last minute and redo everything. It was a big learning curve. And those who overcame the learning curve, the fastest shutting college team one came out on top. While many other groups focused on campaigns to motivate search employees to work with children with through charities. The winning team stood out by proposing recycling programs with an apparel company and meal provision in cooperation with a chain restaurant. We interpreted the question differently because we focused on the business aspect of it. Of interlinking with other companies, said Clara M. Hoi Yan, a member of the winning team. Another member, Kayan Kawa, felt that the competition took his learning beyond the classroom because he had to consider company in the real world. This involves a real company and a real situation, but in class, it's all hypothetical, he said.
The losing teams, who meanwhile, may have taken away something that is perhaps even more valuable. Even if we didn't win, there's something to look back at it to and say. Remember when we did this back in year 12? Tam said, something to feel nostalgic about the future.